This is the solution to written homework 30. <clears throat> so uh, we'll use the same trick that we used in class. So algebraically, what we're going to do is we're going to consider when we pick one of the variables to be not 0 and let the other two variables be 0. So when when y equals z equals 0, when that's the case, then we have 3x is 9, so then x is 3. So that means that the point uh, 3, 0, 0 is on the plane when uh, x is equal to z is equal to 0. That means that we have y is equal to 9. So that means the point 0, 9, 0 is on the plane. And when uh, when x is equal to y is equal to 0, then we have 2z is 9 so that z is 4.5 so the point 0, 0, 4.5 is on the plane so sketch of this situation in the standard view x y z so making uh, making a uh, scale so one two three four five six seven eight nine <clears throat> one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the point three zero zero, so one, two, three. So that's point three zero zero. point zero nine zero so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero nine zero and zero uh, zero zero four and a half so one two three four and a half zero zero Four and a half. <clears throat> those points are on the plane, and the the exercise says just those, just that part of the plane in the first octant. So we'll see just this little sliver of the plane, and this part of the plane is in front of the origin. And that's the answer to the exercise.